Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Problem of the Week. This week you have a magical sock droid drawn it here to help you imagine it um, that can store any number of socks. So we'll, we'll have a uh, selection of S different colored socks. So we have S unique colors. Um, but the problem is that the socks in this drawer are completely disorganized. So we want to know how many choices we will have to make or how many socks we need to pull out of the drawer in order to get a certain number of pairs. So we're going to look at all the, all the numbers of pairs. So uh, one, two, three, all the way up to P pairs. Um, and we're going to just fix our how many sock variations we have. So we're just going to call that S. And the S is going to be uh, fixed, but um, fixed, uh, it's going to be free to move around. Uh, it won't matter. But when we're choosing our C, we're going to look at how many pairs are we going to need, uh, how many socks are we going to need to choose for just one pair of socks. Um, so right off the bat, uh, we can see that we need to choose S plus one number of socks because if we choose S socks, um, they could all be different colors, but then that next sock we choose is guaranteed to match. So we're looking for guaranteed pairs here. Of course you could, if you want three pairs, you could just pull out six socks and have them all match. Uh, so we have our S plus one jumble of socks lying around. Uh, we're going to ignore the two pairs of socks, uh, the two socks that are in a, our matching pair for now. Uh, so we have S plus one minus two, which is S minus one. And in order to get up, back up to that magic number to guarantee that there's a pair outside of that first pair that we chose, we're going to add two again. So. Uh, Um, so yeah, we have our uh, we have our first three pairs sorted. Uh, we need to choose s plus one or s plus three or s plus five if we want one, two, or three pairs. Uh, one thing to notice is that for each increment in one pair, we're incrementing by two socks that we choose. So. Um, and we're, we're also adding s the whole time, so we're doing s plus. Uh, some some number, um, and that number is going to be two um, p. But since these are all odd uh, values, it's going to be s plus two p minus one. Uh, so that's the answer that you should have gotten. But we're going to check to make sure this is true for all values of p with a quick inductive proof. So we're going to assume this is true. Um, we've proved it for 1, because if, if we have 2p minus 1, it's just s plus 1. Uh, and we're going to try to see if this inductive proof leads to our logical conclusion. Uh, this inductive step leads to a logical conclusion. So so from here to here, I've directly substituted to uh, p plus 1 into this p because uh, as you do it in inductive often uh, in inductive proofs in often uh, time uh, so substituting um, simplifying we get s plus 2p plus 1 which is exactly 2 more than this p which is what we would expect so we can safely say that for uh, any given num any given variation of socks, and if we want any number of pairs, we can choose s plus two p minus one socks, and that's how many socks you're going to need to choose to be guaranteed p pairs. Thank you for watching this problem of the week. 
If you want to find a playlist for more problems of the week, you can check out um, a link here. Also in these links is going to be a uh, link to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website where you can find all kinds of math resources. Um, there's also a, a card if you're on a mobile version, uh, if you're on a mobile uh, device that you can find these links on. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and have a good day.